Hey guys, Jim at Rainwater Equipment and Rain Harvesting Supplies here. Uh, I wanted to share something with you that just happened. This 5,000 gallon tank is on our property and it's attached to our home. Uh, we have a 30,000 gallon tank also uh, that replenishes this one when the level drops. But you can see on my level gauge that this tank is about half full at this time. So I was in the house using the water and the water stopped. When I came out to investigate, my pump was still running uh, but there was no pressure on the discharge side. So I came out to look and see if there was an issue with the water tank and just as I suspected, there was. Uh, you see the green rope here hanging off the side. I have that tied to my floating filter, which is inside my tank. And you can see that it has um, gotten stuck on the sidewall of the tank here and is above the water level. So my pump is now sucking air. So what I'm going to do is take a broom and uh, push this down under the water and give myself some more slack here with this rope so my pump can reprime and I can be back uh, in business in the house with water. Uh, you want to uh, notice the biofilm on the hose and on the filter. That is actually something that's uh, a positive thing for your water because it helps to prevent the growth of the bad bacteria in the water. And of course I've got, uh, you know, filter and UV on the uh, other side of this tank as well so that we can uh, we can zap any bacteria that might be in the water and filter out all the sediment. This uh, 250 micron floating filter right here is obviously catching sediment as you can see in the video. And if I want to unscrew it and clean it off and put it back, I can. And that's why I have the rope tied around it. So that's Jim at Rainwater Equipment. Rain Harvesting Supplies wanted to share this fix with you. And uh, if you have any questions about our products or need assistance, reach us at 877-331-7008 or at rainwaterequipment.com.